if I'm if I have a drag queen sitting here that's obviously a drag queen or obviously a transsexual mm -hmm. living their life in this way that's against my beliefs and they're standing in my register about to deal with my customers who are also Christian mm -hmm. that's gonna turn away my customers I don't think it will I think, you don't think so uh, because if that's the case if you feel like what I'm doing is wrong I feel like what the way I'm living is wrong when your customers come up the, the thing to say oh we're working on her Oh, we're working on Why would I have to do all that and you my life? I'm a Christian. I'm Christian and I and my business I is Christianity. And we're going too. If I feel like you're wrong, I feel like you're wrong, we're gonna do whatever we can to where you are. You think so? I, I believe that's the Christian way to me. If you if someone feels like what I'm doing is wrong, I believe the Christian way is to embrace you. But embrace you. Is, as a business owner, isn't it fair to me to not feel that you are appropriate for my company. True, but you can say that any business, Christian or no. Christian or no. You come in if I if there's people who are rude and late and they come into McDonald's and throw fries at you because you're a trainee. I don't feel you. Bloop. That's automatically starts a situation, you don't think? But if that's not that's not if it's not a Christian business, then cool. I'm talking about religious based organization. That I and I understand that, but in, in in any any shape, I can say you are bad. You are bad business, baby, and I can't deal with you. Mm -hmm. Any way it, it goes, whether it's Christian me, or non Christian. But if it's Christian, if it's a religious base, then they, they have, should have to say they, no immediately. They should say, honey, this is not a right with my mission for my business so I don't feel like you're right for this company I and feel like I, and I would say I would say your looks if I work for McDonald's and I didn't feel like that you were appropriate it's, I'm this is devil advocate I don't feel this way but I feel like they should be able to say the same thing too if that's the way you feel I feel like if you're a look, but like don't stop you for giving and doing the job or uh, yeah. customer service that's what the Christian the, why couldn't I pour the same tea at the Christian store because you're stopping you're uh, doing against my religion. Someone may feel like I'm rude and won't come to um, come to my McDonald's because of what you are too. They but not based somebody. on. But it's it's just based. It's not. It's based. It's not based on religion. It's based on just being late. It doesn't like, stop McDonald's food from being good. It doesn't start stop. That their, don't stop those Christian books from coming off the racks. That stop you. That stop your legitimacy. If you, you think? yes. If you come, if I come to a church and I'm here but to you preach know the word, stigma of, and I'm the here stigma to, of homosexuals and transsexuals and all that is HIV. I'm not eating at that McDonald's. They got a fag back there cooking burgers. I'm not touching those burgers. But th but that doesn't prove that there's HIV in them burgers. You, but you know how ignorant people are. But you sitting at this register at a Christian bookstore and you're dressed, and you're a boy living as a woman, and that's against my religion. That's telling me that the organization. The, the administration of this bookstore mm -hmm. is not choosing people that are Christian and that's just not cool. You get what I'm saying? For a religious based organization. That's mm -hmm. that's me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not a, you know, I'm not a Christian, so I'm not I wouldn't I would hire anybody. But if you I think that it would be if the for me, if I were to revamp the end of bill, I think that Christians not Christian, not not just Christian, but religious organizations should be exempt from the bill. I think any place, if I work here, if I want to work here and I fit the criteria, I feel like I should be hired. No matter what. Um, but I think we discussed this during the end when we did that, um, the uh, in the bill video too. I, I just feel like if I fit the criteria of your job, no matter what, I feel like I should be hired. No matter what the job is. If this is my study, this is what I do, this is where my expertise is in, then I feel like I, this is the job for me, no matter what. And see, I feel like if you don't fit with the mission of the business, if you don't fit with the mission of the business, if I am, if I'm trying to sell, um, you know, ex fitness stuff and being healthy, mm -hmm. I'm not going to hire somebody obese which is true which <laughs> I'm not a lot of places do but then but then they'll have like a, a portly person come and work to show you know they'll hire you to come and show you yeah. <laughs> they'll hire them to come and show you that you know we hire everybody here and you know this person is going to get healthy I'm losing pounds and da -da 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 -da. you know all that so I, I just think 
mind no matter what i think if you if i fit this if i fit the criteria do i just feel like i should be so so that means you think child um child molesters can be hired at um daycare centers no this it, that's an What's extreme the difference? that's extreme but it's an extreme for you to be a drag queen working at a um, that's christmas ex, store. That's, ex, that's an extreme that's an extreme why is that extreme because you've committed offense you've done something that was you're that's, committing offense no i'm not why this not? is not against the law here it's against my religious law it's not against the law here well you uh the laws of man <laughs> are, are reigning supreme at, the, at this time and so, they can work there Huh? Some of them, they can work there. Where? In some, in some, in some states, they can work there after so long. At a no. At an establishment, yeah. Where they can work with kids and stuff around children. Mm. In some states, after a after a certain time, time mm. period. They need to. Like, girl, I'm. Where, where can you move where people are? I'm. America's <laughs> crazy to me. You don't let fags get married, but you allow. Uh, molesters, which I'm saying, you know, I, I maybe I, I I have, I'm gonna say this. I don't know because I, you know, I know some people who may have molested people when they were kids, but now that they're grown, they kind of, you know, it's like oh. or they 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 were 18 and their girlfriend was 16. Exactly, because people do make stupid decisions. I know, so I'm not gonna say all oh, molesters are stupid and you should be punished for the rest of your life. But I just think that if you are no matter what, if you're an adult and you are playing with somebody's kid, you should never be to work with kids ever again in your life. I feel that, but that's what it was. I brought that point up because if you can say they on the sex offender list for something that's not child molesting, but they're on the sex offender list and they go try to work at the daycare, then the daycare can discriminate against them. Is that discrimination or, or is that just being uh, you? That's a part of the criteria that you don't fit. You think of that's the same thing that I said about the tranny going to work at the Christmas store. I just feel like. But why would a molester go try to work at a daycare? Because he's trying to offend again. And then why would a tranny go work at a Christian bookstore? She's a Christian tranny. Girl, please. <laughs> why? You haven't seen Christian tranny? I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them. Priest but... trannies. I'm, I, I, we know a tranny that's the priest right now, so. There's yeah. priest trannies. I just, I just, I think that they should be exempt. I think that religious base. If you feel like this tranny is against your, against your establishment, baby. All right, honey. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice to you and give. Me, I'm not gonna call your phone and two leave times. you two, two messages being rude. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna tell you we don't hire faggots and that you lied to me. <laughs> and you lied to me. <laughs> Well, tell us what you guys think. This exactly. is your girl Diamond. And this is Tyler. And we're, we're in Transpire. Love you guys. Ah, till next time. Mm -hmm.